what is it that makes a game memorable or even last more than 10 years or in Hitman's case 17 years, right? It's some very clear concept of what you're actually doing with the game. This idea that we can create a live and living world that constantly evolves and then we marry this with the fantasy of being a, a top-class assassin that travels the world and goes to exotic locations, I think is such a good fit. I start out in Paris and I have one mission and then over time, new locations will unlock. New parts of the story will unfold. And not only do I get to travel the world, but I also get to do it with other players. If we do what we do right, we'll create a platform where we can come with many games to come that all are interconnected and actually form this world of assassination. I see that's going to be the foundation for all the Hitman games we're ever going to produce in the future. We have a unique experience that can break out of the box, if you can say so. And this is also going to be a process with our fans out there. Give us the Hitman experience as we know, it's awesome, we know, it's, you know, why are you trying to do something? But we are doing it because, because we, we believe it's going to be so, so much stronger. For a AAA box product as we were, that transitioning is going to be interesting for the rest of the industry maybe also. Throughout the years of Hitman we've always traveled the world and uh, in that sense it's just perfect for us to take him on a new journey with our fans in this world that will start and then it won't really stop. I think we've been trying to describe how Hitman will be a journey, right? How we're about to take that first step. And that step is right around the corner. When we show the game the first time to our fans, to the guys who've been following us for all these years, that is, that's the very first step. And uh, it will be so exciting to see them playing the game, giving us feedback and enjoying the game. And I'm sure they'll appreciate that this is uh, a proper Hitman game. Hello, <laughs> welcome to IO. <laughs> I'm really, really excited to have the kind of opportunity to present things like this to you guys and um, over the course of the days figure out what it is that you like about it or don't. Our next game is called Hitman. This is, this is what we've been working on for well, a while. This is when we say next Hitman project or what you're calling Hitman 6. Today we are uh, having 10 of the, uh, our biggest fans over here at IO Interactive. It's the, uh, it's the first time we show the game to anyone outside of Square Enix. So this is a very big day for us. It's, I think, just as exciting for us as it is for the fans. It's like the home base for my be most beloved game. So like every time you get in here, it's, it's like Christmas. So if you come in, I think, David, you have some news. Yes, I'm going to be back. I'm going to be voicing the man. I know. I'm and you are the first to know this. Yes. So, so now I have to kill you all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. awesome. We're at 47. I've got the first row files compiled and uploaded. Go over them and let me know what you need. A very important step today was to show the announcement trailer, the trailer we're going to bring to E3 as well, for the, that first taste of what this Hitman universe is all about. From the way we portray 47 uh, as a character, to what he's doing, to traveling the world and the targets. So for us it was very, very important today to see how did our fans take this, how did, they, how did it sit with them. The trailer was probably one of the highlights for me. It sounds a bit cliche, but it really did give goosebumps. The trailer was stunning. I'm just speechless. The best part um, was that you didn't really see 47 doing anything in it, which is what the whole point of Hitman is and what 47 specialises at. And it just really sort of left you wanting more. As Hitman is a sandbox and a playground, more than a, a linear game to play through, what our fans think about it is extremely important. Because it's a game that's made for the community and uh, we want to make it with the community. And that is a very important step for us. That's also why we have them here as the first people to see it. 
uh, you're always your own worst enemy, right? You, you look at the game and you only see what's broken and what's not as good as you want it to be. So when you get the game into the hands of fans who didn't go through uh, years of seeing it over and over again, they see the good stuff first. And that's extremely energizing. Amazing. I'm, I'm speechless, really. The new level's beautiful. Uh, it's gorgeous. It blew my mind. It was, uh, it was everything I wanted it to be. We all wanted bigger maps, we wanted bigger levels, um, but I think this, this has exceeded that by far. The level was huge, and just being there, immersing yourself into the world, it, it felt like a, every fantasy coming true. It has the style uh, and like the, the globe-trotting atmosphere of, of uh, um, Hitman 2. Uh, it has the sandbox levels from uh, Blood Money, and uh, it has the, like the next-gen graphics from, from Absolution. It's like uh, everything is coming together. That's cool. What we saw today seemed like all the best aspects of some of the previous titles. And to see the different directions they're going to go with that same overarching theme is exciting. Uh, we've been promised uh, that we will see all the world uh, from, uh, from different uh, continents. And I'm just excited to see where Agent 47 will, will travel. And, and that's what we saw in the previous game. And, and I'm really looking forward to that because that's a big part of the Hitman experience to me. Days like this are always a step towards making it very real that we are announcing that we are you know, giving the games to a closed group of people and then going wide public first with the beta and then with the release. Um, this is a huge step and that makes it extremely real. We're in Los Angeles right now. The game is going to be unveiled in a, in a matter of hours on the Sony stage to obviously show the first gameplay trailer for the game. PlayStation is the place to experience the new Hitman with a console exclusive beta being available to PlayStation 4 gamers when they pre-order the game and then six unique contracts that will be exclusive to PlayStation 4 players as the year goes on when the game launches. Can't wait for this game. It's great to see Agent 47 back again. Being in the, uh, in the huge uh, arena there and just with you know, gigantic screens and uh, thousands of people and then unveiling the game, that's uh, it's the first in IO history and it's, it's incredible. Can awesome. we get some high-res flawless screen caps from this trailer? I want the beautiful face of Agent 47 in Ultra HD. Okay, this is everything I personally could have asked for from a Hitman game announcement. My dreams have come true. This is a fantastic E3 in my opinion. And E3 hasn't even started yet. It's brilliant. It's now uh, going to be the, the uh, conference with Square Enix and then it's going to back, be back-to-back -back interviews for a full two and a half, three days. Uh, it's going to be a little bit crazy. I don't know if I can spell my own name when it's done. Hi everyone, my name is Christian. I'm the creative director at IO Interactive. And I'm here today to share with you what we've been working on at the studio. It's a bit hectic, uh, a lot of things are happening, right? Uh, but, uh, but it feels really, really good, yeah. I just saw the new trailer of Hitman and it was sick. I 
think there is a trend starting. Uh, comparing to what we're doing, there are some games that also invite players that try to be very close to the players and their fans. There are games that think in the direction we are thinking, but right now no one is really daring to make the big move. And I think that's also where the, um, the positive feedback comes from. Some say, awesome, someone's finally doing it. Now let's see how it goes. <laughs> it's, good, uh, it's a good feeling to be the first and leading in that direction. E3 has a huge importance, right? I mean, uh, all the world's media's eye in this industry is, is looking at this event. The team back home, they put so much effort into this, so, uh, you know, finally being able to talk about that, it's, uh, it feels good, right? Uh, you want to share what you're doing uh, with friends, family, uh, so it's a good feeling. You know, with all the awards we're also getting and the feedback we're getting, I, I, I'm, I'm so pleased. So happy. I've been to a few E3s, and uh, this one is uh, definitely one of the one of the best ones. I would say. So I actually haven't seen very much of what people are talking about, what's what's being said, what's happening, all the feedback. I'm sort of getting it from the other guys. They're talking about what's going, and the one link here and there. But I also actually really look forward to that sort of digesting all the uh, the, the feedback we get, because there is going to be some very good feedback, and there are probably also going to be some, uh, let's say, challenging feedback where we go like. Grr. I've been a Hitman fan since the first game. And they've all been really good, but this one, I don't know, it seems better. I haven't been this excited for Hitman since the original one. I'm, I'm yeah, it's, I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. Just the title Hitman, it's, it's, it's just a, a reaffirming itself as the game, the game. It feels like you're not being held back. You just, you can do anything you want, whenever you want. And that's just perfect for Hitman. To me, continued development is the best blessing any developer can give to their community for a game. So that's absolutely awesome. It's scams like turning what used to be a traditional game into an episodic game that will cause another gaming crash. It's obviously that you have already completed the game, but turned it episodic for your own personal agenda by turning all your games episodic, also like Final Fantasy VII Remake, but will make gamers not accept these scams and you will realize that when the episodic scams flop. Whoa, that's a pretty uh, irate statement. Um, well, the first thing is we haven't actually completed the game, so I think that's, that's really important to know. Um, I wouldn't call this a scam. I'm the one that spends most of the time reading a lot of the what the fuck are you doing comments, what the hell is this. That's difficult, but in the back of my mind I know that the game itself will kind of win that back. A lot of it was, the game is cool, are we sure about the episodic thing? Before it was, what the hell, it's all crazy. Many, many games do episodic, but for a triple A studio to, to have the balls to do it and mean it, that's, that's enormously humbling. So we always talked about multiple games to come, right? And that being the foundation for the next games to come. That is still true. It's just, I think acknowledging, calling it seasons and episodes, it's just using a language that people by now got used to. And, and that's why we decided to use that kind of language. If you say it's episodic, everybody can say, oh, it's episodic. <laughs> but if you say, okay, you know, it's, it's not necessarily episodic for you. If you buy the disc, each episode, each part of the game has been released, it has been reviewed, played and tweaked by us. I don't think there's any better way of getting the perfect Season 1 experience than that. Today is February the 10th, uh, the day before the Hitman beta comes out. Or that it's supposed to come out at least, because uh, it's out in the US already. We found out this morning. It feels like uh, hot and cold showers every day, you know. Hey, we had to do this. Oh, okay. hey, this is working. It's completely schizophrenic sometimes. The battle is not quite over yet. There are a few uh, things that need to get together. So uh, I'm all, you know, I'm all over the place. Mind is fragmented and... When you release on the consoles, there are certain requirements that you must follow. For example, what does the game do if you pull the controller plug out of the console? There are specific things that it must do. This is called compliance. And if your game is not compliant, you cannot release it. It's not a question of, oh please, oh please, but mom said, no, it, you cannot release it. So we have to fix it. And there are people who will be hit very hard by that. And there are people who will not notice it. I'm working on a map that is going to be released in May, so I'm not that stressed. Uh, but some people are 
Force Rest. Because they're working on the release stuff. But I am free from that. Hopefully when, uh, when the weekend's over and uh, we submit, then, uh, then I can uh, you know, sit and watch some of the streams and, and enjoy it, maybe with a cold beer or something. The thing about contracts, what's great about it particularly, is it allows for so much creativity and one of the things that were really popular in the fan forums were always things such as creating custom contracts and IO I guess picked up on that and realised there was a really big uh, potential market for that and they were actually allowing it in the game properly, officially. What I will do will be way different than what you would do. If you see other players' maps, it might give you huge inspiration to make new kills and actually also help you in a single-player game where you might be able to see, hey, I killed this guy with a chandelier, hmm, maybe I can do that in the campaign mode. It's a cool move for Fio to bring us the community in, because then we feel like we are part of it. What the gamer outside of the walls they want is wants to be seen and wants to be heard. It's really cool that you guys were able to come in um, and, and kind of create these things. I hope it's cool that uh, we put you in the game. The episodic release, it's, it's been a bit controversial, but I'm actually personally really excited for it, uh, because it fits in really good with the way I want Hitman to be, which is an ongoing experience. It's a bold move. It's, 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 it's a huge AAA game, it's not an indie title. So indie titles, you'll be like, ah, it's okay, you cut them more slack than the big AAA uh, companies. But I think that if it's done right, it can be a great move for the gaming industry. With a brand like Hitman, that of course has this 15 year history behind it, people have expectations. Some people may be parts of their lives. It's an, an important universe for our fans and players. So, of course, when you change something, it's controversial. Changing stuff is, um, it comes at a price. The fact of life is that every time you make decisions, it's not like there's a right and a wrong decision. It's typically so that you have some positives and some negatives, and there will be negatives. There will be something unavoidably bad about what you do. I know it's a big change for people out there, and I know it's a big change on the, the marketing side or the business side of things. But for the, from the creative perspective, we didn't change that much. March 11th, that's the starting point for us. It's been more fire and forget before, and it's not right now. It's, it's one launch, and then we're actually still looking, we're still building. I actually don't know what that will feel like. We cannot just go off and say, ah, now we have three months of break, like you're doing a classic AAA release, because we are more like a TV show. We need to keep running, right? After three years of getting ready and building and building up to this, I'm so ready for it to happen. I mean, let's go, because we have many months ahead of us of then running it and seeing what happens. So let's go. It's, it's, it's now. So today is March 11th and it's finally the start day of, of our World of Assassination. This is not a classic launch, this is the premiere of a season and we will keep fixing that, we will keep listening. And that is key to our success because what we do is completely new. <laughs> so congratulate yourself for having shipped or premiered the first season of any AAA game in the industry ever. Congratulations about that. How do I feel today? I feel motivated, I think. It's uh, been a long, long journey just to get here. And then this weird feeling that um, step one. This is not the end 
that's it. I have to live with this for the rest of my life. All the hopes and dreams and all the efforts that went to it. Yeah, it was a good game. There was these issues that this is going to be the final mark of this experience. It's not like that. It's actually, I'm totally pumped. The game is out now, obviously. We started getting feedback and reviews. I think it was a, it was a mixed bag for us. The main criticism was uh, the episodic nature of the game. We knew that's gonna come. And uh, some loading times, which uh, surprised me a bit, but uh, needs to be acknowledged. So instead of going out with a big bang, uh, it's been, it's a bit more looking forward and where do we put the efforts? How do we prioritize this? Actually, I think this is one of the last uh, times I'm going to be in front of a camera for a good while. That's a relief, but uh, really motivated. Monday is about Sapienza and then uh, we continue. tone from Sound Assassin, I think we have the sandboxes from Blood Money, and I think we have the very good game mechanics from Hitman Absolution. And we had a fan from uh, one of our forums saying 15 years of Hitman put into one sandbox, and uh, getting that is just, that was, uh, that was what we're doing. We've really pulled it off. We've achieved what many people quote now as the best Hitman game ever. And I think that potential will unfold even more with, with the episodes to come. So from that perspective, I'm actually super confident. But I acknowledge that our release model will stay a talking point till we have concluded it. Only when we're done with that and we look back, we will know how people actually perceived it. halves that are with us tonight for the time you allowed your partners to invest into this game. Thank you very much. So it was three and a half years. I think that's almost a record for IO in, a, in a, quite a long while to ship a game like that. This is just the beginning, you all know that. It's been a rocky path, it has been an exciting path. We had our downs and our highs. And this will continue over the course of the season, this and the next. But without further ado, Thank you for being here tonight. Have a really good time. You all deserve it. And let's celebrate. Thank you.